नमस्ते यूट्यूब वेलकम टू इनोमा वी आर बैक अगेन एंड बैक अगेन विद अनदर रश रिएक्शन इट इज एवरी डे ग्लोरी So and first time single take on this reaction. reaction, and it's a Patreon request. It's a Patreon request, and we are running out of Patreon requests for all our competitors out there who keep throwing hate comments off and on. Uh, You'll be happy to know that we are running out of Patreon requests to do. So it's your time to celebrate. You got what you wanted. Oh, I'm just kidding. We have a lot to do still. <laughs> so let's get started with Everyday Glory by the Rush. That is. Bad joke, whatever it was. Let's Easy-going start. native outsiders from thousands of miles away from yes. Canada, where Rush belongs, everyday reacting glory. to everyday glory. I love the name, everyday glory. <laughs>
The first two Every verses. Everyday glory. Everyday glory. The first two verses were very, very, very intense and hard hitting with the pounding on the walls by the daddy. I know. The abuses. Ugly words. Ugly words by the mama. The violence, so to speak, the arguments, the loud voices, the child crying in the corner, shivering, shaking in fright. Wow. I won't be right if I speak without knowing the exact stats, but I can probably say that there are over a billion people in the world right now who suffer from some or the other kind of domestic abuse or violence. So it's a very, very astronomical fact or statistic. I don't know the exact numbers. I don't think anyone does. The reason we don't know the exact numbers is because most of the people who go through it, go through it silently. And I love that line in the song where the board go to the extremes. They, you know, they mm -hmm. do something silly to end their life or they yeah, take risk. Yeah, and, in the cities. and it's, it's, it's hard hitting, it's hard hitting, but it's much needed. So hats off to Rush for once again getting it spot on by creating a beautiful... Beautiful song, great music, and even greater lyrics. Really, really strong lyrics. That is my take. I went purely based on the first two verses. It's about domestic violence and abuse. It's about everyday things that you go through in life. And I think if it was me, I would interpret it as that it happens to everybody. It may not be domestic violence as such, even though as I just said, over a billion people go through it practically every day, somewhere or the other in the world. But it's about how we deal with it. Everyone has problems, whether it's domestic violence, problems in the workplace, problems by being laid off, stress due to various reasons, issues, driving in traffic, you know, the mundane routine. But at the end of the day, we have to realize that we are stronger on our own. We can be with our backs against the wall. We can be stuck in a dark place for months on end. But if we believe and if we look deep within, we can always find a way out of our misery. We can always find a better place to go to, to live in. It's as simple as that. And I'm saying these words very carefully because... Most people may say it's not as simple as that, but it is. And that's a good 20 years of experience in the psychology and counseling telling you this. It is as simple as that. It is about taking that first step. If you feel your back is against the wall, if you feel you're a victim of any kind of aggression, violence, discrimination, racial profiling, you can take that first step to get out of it, to come out of it, to deal with it. And you have to do so on your own. You have to take that first step on your own. There's not always going to be a friendly hand, a helping hand to guide you forward. In fact, most times you will not find anyone else around you when you are in trouble. Most times. I'll give you an example of this. A few years ago, 10 years ago to be precise, I remember the period of my life very well. I thought about buying shops, investing in, you know, uh, property so that my coaching classes would have a permanent place to conduct it or conduct those classes. So I thought I could manage it. You know, I thought I could manage it in an area close to my home where I was already conducting classes on rent. So I thought I could, I had enough savings or I could, you know, get a few loans from the couple of banks that I had accounts in. And I thought it would be manageable, but it wasn't. To get uh, the right place and the, the right location. And as you know, in real estate or business, location, location, location. So to get that location, 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 I had to dig deep. And I didn't have enough funds, so I, and to make it worse, uh, the banks refused to give me a business loan at that time. For some reason, some silly little reason, I could not 
get a business loan and even if i got it it would be after a long time when it would be too late to get that particular property at that very very competitive price very reasonable price to be precise so i told people about it and some people in the family and friends came forward and willingly said that they would lend us the money but things changed even though i tried very very hard we both did tried very hard work like dogs to make money and to make to pay them back somehow it, the damage was already done and we had to each of ourselves in our own way had to come out of that deep dark hole ourselves it took practically 10 years just this year last year to be precise we actually started you know having a good relationship with all those people again in fact just few days ago i met one of those friends after all those years just because at that time he offered to help out i didn't ask him i just said that this is what happens we may need some money of course we wanted it from him and other people but we didn't beg and when we gave it we gave it back with interest and we gave it back well on time but still the damage was done same with family members same with a couple of other lending institutions the damage was done even though we paid it back on time mind you so i can connect with this song through that way that you have to fight it out yourself you have to struggle there are so many millions of people struggling with debt today i'm so blessed that we weren't in debt even when we took those loans we paid it off within a year yeah. we were so happy because when we got to know about how bad it can be i mean we would be probably killing ourselves if we had that debt on our heads and shoulders for 10 years yeah. so i have so and i salute those people for being so strong who are in debt for practically all their lives or for a long period of time because i know how difficult it can be your thoughts on this you know i don't like i never ever give advice to anyone including my family members or who whoever it is but one word i always tell everyone and i would like to it just because you brought it up to all our viewers who ever come and watch our videos and all the fans of rash and everybody who watches our videos that never ever take money or borrow money unless it is i mean you don't have any other way out of it never ever be in debt that is a silent or a direct killer i won't even say silent it's it's just as bad as it i am telling you it is never take it for you know reasons like you want to buy a car because your old car isn't that functioning that well and you really need it and your neighbors have it and let's not get into it. that because the whole world <laughs> I know. works on loans and I know, things I know. like that so but don't so do don't it. just go by what she is saying that is of you for sure that's my opinion yeah that's but we can't opinion. really put that out there because the whole world runs on credit now, it does yes. it does but it's so difficult. but it, if you can avoid it kills your happiness avoid. if you can avoid and especially bigger amounts smaller amounts you still can find a way to pay it back like we did we paid it back very quickly but bigger amounts especially when it comes to houses if unless it is an emergency excuse me unless it is an emergency do not take it it doesn't matter what it your is your glory for. for every day goes for a toss you will always be stressed you will be always be cranky you will always be feeling how i mean from where to raise the money to give it back that is the feeling because i i don't think any parent raises their children to you know take anything from others it is just the way we are raised all of us even those who commit crimes they commit crimes out of sheer necessity and out of desperation so none of us the entire mankind is not taught to do wrong things it happens you know in the spur of the moment or at times where they have no other option and that is one of those things which puts you in that position where you know you start feeling helpless hopeless and it causes a lot more problems than it solves a problem so that's my take on it and that's the only thing i tell anybody 
who i mean whoever thinks of taking one if it is isn't necessary just don't go for it apart from that let's come down to everyday glory i would like to yeah. end this reaction because there's just two things that i want to tell people and i've told them and you've told them yeah. for me domestic violence or debt you have to fight it out alone you must believe in yourself you must practice meditation i cannot emphasize on this more you must 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 meditate every single day even if it's a small start a tiny start of 10 minutes in the morning or late evening you must practice meditation you must spend silent time alone in solitude by yourself in contemplation reflection meditation you must because that helped me whenever i lost when i lost my father it helped me when i lost my mother it helped me when i lost a couple of friends it helped me when i was going through a tough phase it helped me and it helps me even if i'm not going through a tough phase it helps me feel good it helps me feel better it helps me de stress it helps control my blood pressure it helps control my stress it helps me live a very 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 good life i cannot emphasize it more it gives you power from the voice within your soul you suddenly awaken 50 human beings to help you 50 human beings in psychology we have a concept which has been verified of the subconscious mind a human being subconscious mind is 49 times estimated 49 times more powerful than the conscious mind that we have the conscious mind is a mind when we are awake when we are aware of things the subconscious is where we are not actually awake and we are not completely aware of things so it's a subconscious and it is always there and meditation is the best time dreams the best time to awaken your subconscious mind so when you discuss the issues you are facing the problems you are dealt dealing with when you discuss things with your subconscious mind and it can only happen during periods of deep dreaming or meditation so when you discuss things with the voice within your soul your subconscious mind that is when you get the help of 49 other people because you awaken the giant within you awaken the titanic soul within you awaken the colossal voice within and that helps you and that is why you can be stronger on your own you can fight everyday problems you can come out of it strong if you meditate and if you believe in the voice within you that's everyday glory yeah so that's about it i don't think we need to get into the lyrics i think my reaction to this and your reaction will be much much more insightful masterly detailed and professional than any other reactor on this platform currently so i don't think we need to further it because it would be misunderstood because people think long reactions are not good it's a waste of time but when you skip those long reactions you've lost a few valuable lessons goodbye thanks for watching